Governor O'Malley, uh, Democrat governor of Maryland, <laughs> uh, you know, these kind of disasters, they're often uh, moments when politicians can sort of rise to the occasion, uh, perhaps uh, uh, carve out a national reputation as a, as a strong leader. Yeah. Uh, he seems to have been uh, trying to carve that reputation very aggressively, but uh, <laughs> maybe not, yeah. not so successfully. Yeah, this was not a Rudy Giuliani moment <laughs> for uh, the Governor O'Malley of uh, Maryland. We have uh, literally hundreds of thousands of people that are going to be w without electricity for over a week. Can you believe that, James? And, and it's because it's Pepco, the power company, is incompetent, and it's because the governor hasn't really done anything to fix the problem. So uh, O'Malley really took, uh, took a bit of a beating this week. I can't tell you how many Maryland people I talk to, Democrats and Republicans, who are furious not just with the power company, but the politicians that haven't done anything to protect their electric supply. We, you're obviously... Uh, you're you're among uh, many uh, area residents who are uh, uh, pretty angry about it. Uh, Greg Easterbrook of The Atlantic had uh, an interesting yeah. uh, 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 piece on this. Oh, but uh, right. I, I guess uh, may, maybe it's uh, some confusion on the part of the governor where it, was it, do you think, an assumption that if he made some high profile uh, in appearances on TV, that would automatically pressure Pepco, the local utility, to? to roll out more trucks and solve the problem more quickly? I mean, do you, do you think he just uh, didn't get sort of the cause and effect uh, uh, <laughs> system well, there? It is cer James, it certainly is true. He's on t TV all the time, and he loves to say, see his face on the screen. But the problem is when Maryland's are saying, okay, fine, he goes on TV and he tells Pepco to get down to business, but they haven't done it. Why hasn't he taken the actions the way that you would expect a leader to do? So it's been a dark moment for Marylanders, and it's been a dark moment for Governor O'Malley, who has presidential ambitions. Uh, he has those ambitions. Uh, obviously, we talked about the economy uh, earlier in the show affecting uh, Barack Obama's uh, re-election ambitions. Um, in uh, Maryland, just last point, just to give people the background, uh, Mr. O'Malley has, uh, has been a tax raiser, and I... I, I think uh, you've documented how uh, economically yep. that hasn't exactly been a winner for Maryland. He's probably the governor in America whose policies most resemble those of Barack Obama.